Fun Beetle Fact The Japanese Beetle One of the most famous Japanese beetles were known as the King of Beetles. It is strong and fierce and loves to fight. It really likes tree sap. What's up everybody, it's Cat from the Monkey Making Misplaced channels and today I will be profiling a Mushi King deck. But first, I feel like it is necessary to explain the game mechanics, how this deck actually works for people who have never seen it before. But don't worry, if you already know how this deck works, there will be a timestamp around here. You can just skip it straight into the deck profile, and I'll see you then with the list. But for everybody else, this is Mushi King. You have a couple of cards, and yes, it has a crest we'll get to in a bit. But just so you understand, this is a beetle, and then this is an attack card. We'll get to those in a bit. Those will be your main cards. But what does the crest actually do? You cannot write other than Mushi King cards. You cannot play set orders and can only play set orders in the order zone with this crest's ability. When you get this crest, you will search deck for or hand for up to one hitting attack, one pitching attack, and one throwing attack each, and you will put into your order zone. And if you search your deck this way, shuffle it. Then, once per turn, you can Soul Blast one, reveal the top five cards of your deck, choose up to one Mushi or attack card from among them, you know, reveal it, Put it in your hand and then shuffle. And when your Mushi King attacks, rest an attack card with grade less than or equal to your Vanguard's in the order zone, and use that card's attack. So we so we can fully understand what this crest does. We'll have to look at the orders, or as they're known in this, as attack cards. For instance, this is a grade one throwing attack, so known as Super Tornado Throw. And just so you guys can completely understand it, this is the corresponding Beetle. And as we will go down the checklist, I'll point out what this matches with. So first, you'll check the first effects, the skill 80, that will be down here, skill 90. So skill 80 or greater, the attacking will get plus 5k, and then if the finish deck is throwing, which is the symbol up here, paper, it'll get another 5k. This effect is shared among all three orders, as you'll see. And then the last one is if the super finish deck is tornado throw, which is right there, you will be able to get plus 5k more until the end of turn. And then with corner plus two, you'll discard a copy of this card from your hand, and then that unit can perform drive checks. So that is kind of the theme of this deck, is a lot of drive checks, as you'll see. But now you understand how this beetle works. Moving on to the grade two, and its corresponding beetle. Rolling clutch hold. Uh, this is probably the least important order, but you need one of each anyway, as the crest said. But just so you know, the first effect is shared. Skill 50, and as you notice, you gotta be a little bit careful. The skill here is here, and the skill here is right there. It's kind of hard to see, so just be careful when you're picking out your beetles and your attacks. It gets a little confusing, but hopefully there that allowed you to know. So the first effect is shared, and then let's just go to the last one. The super finish attack is rolling clutch hold, which is in the same spot. Uh, you perform soul blast one, and then choose one of your opponent's rear guards that unit cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase, and it cannot intercept until the turn. Then you can discard a copy of itself, and you do that effect one more time. That's why that effect is not too great, but we'll talk about that more in the deck profile. Moving on with the last attack, and its last corresponding beetle. The grade three hitting attack, which is what we built our deck around. And the reason being, just go down the checklist, skill 20, again, it's right there at the bottom, skill 30. And then it'll get the plus five, and then if the finish attack is hitting, same thing, right there, I get another plus five. And then the super finish attack is a machine gun punches, which again is right there. A little hard to see because of what, how these cards were uh, raritied, but it's still in the same spot. You can discard a copy of this at the end of the battle the tech was used kind of one restand the unit and it gets dry minus two and then uh it'll get dry plus one a little confusing but basically what that means you'll still swing then you'll restand it it'll lose two drives but then get one drive back but those are pretty much all the attacks and all the beetles corresponded to them there are technically three other decks there is a throwing beetle grade three and there is a pinching beetle grade three but the hitting beetle grade three with its order is the best one out of the out of the set at least in most people's opinion you could try the other one but this is what we'll be talking about today so we'll get there in now fun beetle fact the parry stag beetle a stag beetle with unique split jaws it is very fierce and loves to fight its tactic is to grip the opponent and pick it up with its jaws all right now that we're done with all that uh, time for the actual deck profile. As you can see though, we did get our startup decks. We will probably use this this Friday. Not like it matters too much because all it will do is give us a card. But hey, they're legal now and we're probably going to start using them forward. But just to get that out of the way quickly. Uh, moving on with the right line, obviously the starter with the crest and the grade one, two, and three beetle. 
Doesn't actually matter too much which ones you pick. I only picked this specifically because the grade two could use the throwing order if need be. And the grade one can't really do anything. But you can play, you know, rock, rock, rock. You can play scissors, scissors, rock. And all that matters is this beetle as your main vanguard. These two could be whatever you want. Pick your favorite beetles. Moving on with the orders, just to get them out of the way pretty quickly. We are playing four super tornado throw, one rolling clutch hold, and then four machine gun punches. So if you didn't watch the how to's really quickly, this will allow your Vanguard to resend with a single drive. This one doesn't matter, but it can stun your opponent's rear guards. But you can't even do the second effect because we only play the one copy. And this one will give your rear guard uh, drive checks. So it's a lot of drive checks. I haven't done the math. Uh, I did the math before, but I completely forgot. I think it's like seven drive checks, but you do need like three CB and you need three orders because it'll be this one machine gun punches and moving on this one gather upon me ye wandering souls uh this one you'll have to pay by discarding an order card never mind you need like four orders in hand and this will give your vanguard a drive plus one till the end of the turn so it's a very high rolly deck a very greedy deck but it's fun it's a lot of fun it's fun to be greedy sometimes it's fun to just you know go wild because once you pull out the combo like i said i think it's like seven drive checks in one turn Sure, it's a lot of setup, but if you're going to play Beatles, you might as well have fun. And I'm playing one of the Meteor Capitat. I'm missing one Grade 2 Beetle, so if I had it, I probably would just cut this. But this is just a good order. It allows you to look at the top card. No, what is it? When you search your unit, blah, blah, blah. Top 7, seven. that's what it was. Look at the top 7, call up the one card with this Grade Lesson equals your Vanguard. So it could pull a Beetle hypothetically, but like I said, if I had the Grade 2 Beetle, I would cut that. Moving on with the rest of the main deck, we are playing Triple the Rock Beetle for Persona Rides. We are playing three of the Zizzer Beetle. Like I said, I would be playing four. I just, I thought I had it, but as I was building this deck, I realized I only had three and we didn't really have time to order the fourth one. But then again, you're not in too much of an issue because the Zizzers is the worst order or the worst attack card. So I'm still gonna try it out. It, after play testing, it didn't hurt too much because I still had four of the throwing attack beetle. So the only one that really matters is your rock and your paper. We are playing four mushroom boys because the crest allows you to soul blast a search. This gives you a soul and two units. We are playing two diantha just because it can call your grade one beetle out or maybe the mushroom boy, just a good card. But you can cut this for whatever you want if you don't have her. She did get reprinted though, so she should be cheap-ish now. We are playing three regular PG and one Elementary Sanctum 2. This actually matters in the Bob Sagar matchup because this goes around a guard restrict. But it's just a good card anyway because it goes around a lot of people's guard restrict. If you have it, play it. If you don't, don't worry. Just play the four regular. Finally, triggers. We are playing the Stokea. You could play blue or red. I just like the original OTs. That's a me preference. We are playing four vanilla, four more vanilla, so eight crit total. I will probably switch these to the soul crit before the game. I was just a little too lazy to do it now. Plus, I just like these two little boys. Not like it matters too much. If you have them, use them. If you don't, don't even worry about it. We are playing three draws, because as you saw, we need like four orders in our hand. The crest helps, but this just helps you dig a little bit deeper. So, uh, you could play fronts, I just like the draw power. And then obviously, four heals. As always, play these to your locals, play these to the tournaments you're going. You're going to see a lot of Sheridan Nui, so you should probably switch some of these for the higher grade. But that's about it everyone, I hope you guys really enjoyed this deck profile. A lot of people don't know about the Mushi King, they were just filler cards essentially in set 13. But I'm hoping a lot of people get to try it out because it's just a lot of fun deck. And yeah, that'll be it. See you guys on the next one. Fun beetle fact. The Tyrandus Stag Beetle. The largest stag beetle in Africa with a beautiful shiny black body. It has a fierce character and shakes its body when angry.